In the last video, I talked about the descent of Inanna and what that truly means from an esoteric perspective. The descent of Inanna is thinking about a goddess who travels to the underworld. The underworld represents our material realm. Through the process of raising our kundalini, we raise up that serpent goddess energy to be united with the god, who's Shiva, in the holy marriage. Inanna had to cast away some part of her attachments every single gate that she passed through. Every chakra in our body, all seven chakras, relate to one aspect of life. The Muldahara is representative of the material plane, but mostly everything material in our lives. The feeling of security, the feeling of stability, the feeling of being rooted and grounded. That is the first chakra that everyone could open. Animals are in that realm of existence. They are, that is the highest chakra they can open. We as humans can open further up. We can open the rest of our chakras. So as we make our way up the rest of our chakras, it aligns with different aspects of life and different aspects of human life and deity. Eventually, we make our way up. It's very rare that people make their way up even to the throat chakra. Some people open different chakras at different times. It's important that this is done correctly or people can experience some physiological or psychological discomforts. But this is the journey that Inanna was taking. And this is symbolic for what happens when you have been initiated into some mystery school or you have experienced instantaneous Shakti put from someone that has already experienced Kundalini awakening.